shoplifters often believe that they will not be discovered and frequently ignore the repercussions of their actions. However, what happens when shoplifters are caught by cops and are forced to face the consequences of their actions? Here are six instances in which shoplifters at Target believe they are beyond the law. We arrest you for... Oh. Once again, you got nothing. No. No wallet. No. How are we gonna pay for this, man? Starting with the cops, who responded to a complaint suggesting that two ladies were stealing from Target during the transaction. Additionally, during the arrest, one of the ladies exhibited aggressive behavior. Target? You guys just took from Target? No. Yeah, they just called you just stole from them? No. no. 9158. We have returns. Anybody got an ID on them? No. Okay, well, they just said you took over a thousand bucks worth of stuff from them, so you got an ID? No. Give me a name then. Lock your doors. They can't do that. This is their merchandise. No, it's not. This is not their merchandise. Lock your doors. Stop! Not, I didn't do. You're not gonna push me out of the way. I didn't do. Hey, you're not gonna push me out of the way. I'm not doing that. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. I didn't do. You're not gonna push me. I pushed you. No, I yeah, you did. I did not push you. I yes, pushed you the did. door and you hurt in my arm. I'm not resisting. All right. You, stop, you, stop you have been resisting the whole time. No, I didn't. You didn't even grab me. That <laughs> is hurting. And like I said, I'm pregnant. All right. By this time, the police were trying to figure out what was going on as they kept investigating the calm woman. But she's obviously causing the problem right now. So I'd like you seen the more like a more reasonable one. I'd like to hear from you as to what's going on. I mean, is there any reason why this is happening today? I can help work and get her right to the store. What was that? I just got to work and get her right to the store. Negative. This is your car? Yes. That boy, uh, you want to store with her? Yes. Well, I'll just drive it in there. Yes. What were you guys looking for in the store? She is moving to her apartment. Yeah, Mark. Okay. You guys pay for any of the stuff? Close the screen, too. No. Do you try to scan anything or just kind of walked right out? No. Just walked right out? Anything else in the car that you guys already loaded up? She said that uh, she. I heard her. She said that uh, the stuff in the car is because she's moving. So is anything in this car yours? No. It's all hers. Now, the cops decided to have a conversation with the aggressive pregnant lady in order to attempt to understand her perspective on the shoplifting incident. So I understand What do you want? You were mean as hell for me. I that's don't what like I was that. about to, that's what I was about to tell you. Look like I think that we all got off to a little bit of a bad start. I don't like it when I see somebody it looked to me like you were struggling and resisting with, with one of my officers. I'll just and push we, the and door. We, all right, yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm already caught. I can't be no blunt than I already am. I'm not I wasn't I was not complying I just pushed the door and closed it did I not I he never it. grabbed me I just pushed the door and closed it. Okay. he never touched me he never asked me to turn around he didn't say nothing to me so gotcha. that's not well I wasn't here for the conversation so I, you I don't, were right I don't know. you pulled up first you no, were out I was, the car I was first. like the fourth one to pull up whatever yeah but yeah you still me I don't like All right. that but I'm not always gonna be nice when you're yelling, you should, because no, I'm pregnant, and I asked y'all to release the cuffs just well, a little bit. It's and, not and, like and, I'm gonna run. But, and we did, right? We took it the cuffs took off. It took 20 minutes, and like I said, I'm three months pregnant. It definitely didn't take 20 minutes. It took too damn long. I'm a human being. It don't matter what I did. I don't deserve for my wrist to be twisted the up to my neck. Gotcha. That's not respectful. Okay. The pregnant lady was brought to the police station, but she didn't stop to ask the cops how they plan to discover the truth about the shoplifting incident. So I don't know what is stolen and what isn't stolen, but so they have how cameras. How are y'all gonna differentiate the two? Figure it out. It's our job, right? They got cameras all over the place, right? What they mean? Target's got cameras. Right. Okay, so between, uh, they'll find, they'll figure it out. Don't worry. They're very good at their job. Okay. I know that much. I hear you. 
In the interrogation room, the suspect attempted to express her displeasure with how the police arrested her and that she had the impression that she was going to die at that very time. Because y'all was mean to me and I don't appreciate it. How was I mean to you? I don't like the way y'all handled me. If I said I'm in pain, I'm in pain. Don't okay. treat me like I'm George Floyd. I didn't treat you like you were George or Floyd. Or Breonna Taylor. Did I treat you? Okay, or first of all, George, George Floyd got put on the ground and knelt yeah, on for like nine minutes. Shit. That's exactly you didn't get put on the floor. You didn't get put anywhere for nine minutes, wrist, right? I'm three months pregnant. But you didn't get put on I'm the ground. I'm a pregnant woman. But you didn't get put on I'm the ground. I'm a pregnant Number woman. One. Number two, Breonna Taylor got shot. Did anybody shoot you? I remember it felt, it, so it's I not felt even like close. I would be shot you because y'all didn't even give me a chance. Y'all didn't even give me a chance. Come on. Everybody, everybody that's scared of the police when y'all <laughs> no, that is so for not no true. Reason. That is so not true. Yeah, that's what. That's I what have that's come across many yet. black people that have been very supportive of the police. So good for you. I support the ones that are nice. So you support me. You were not High nice five. to me. High five. That's Knuckles? Okay. Yeah. See? You like me. You lied. At this time, the suspect attempted to convince the police that she had not committed shoplifting and that everything was a legitimate transaction. There were shoes, boxes of shoes that I paid for. I get it. Literally. This mm -hmm. stuff was not stolen. Okay. Understand. I'm not out there. That's not my part of this. My part of this is just to get you. But they touch it's not but, but let me ask you this. Stolen. How are we supposed to see what is stolen and what isn't stolen if we don't look through it? It's part of our job. We have to. Because what was in the carts is what we didn't even get a chance to put the shit in the car. That is not true. What? The TV? What did we put it? Okay, the TV. the TV and what else? I don't know. Because I wasn't. I didn't talk to the security people. I didn't talk to anybody else. So I don't know. And to be fair, I don't know. I don't have the answers. All right? You know what I know? My day's supposed to end in 10 minutes and I'm supposed to be off for the next two weeks. That's what I know. To sum it up, a retail theft allegation was brought against both of the ladies, and the pregnant lady was also charged with resisting arrest in addition to the stealing charge. More than $1,000 worth of stuff was taken. While the pregnant lady attempted to be combative with the police, she was ultimately overpowered. On the other hand, this next individual will perform a shoplifting scam that will surprise you. It all begins with the police responding to a call from Target about a possible theft. As soon as the police came, they placed the suspect under custody. On the other hand, the suspect disclosed to the cops that she had not paid for any of the products, although her buddy, who was still present inside the store, was in the process of making a payment. Hello, I'm Officer Robinson of the Traffic Police Department. I'm conducting a theft investigation. You're now free to leave at this time. Okay. Conducting a theft investigation. What's that? They paying in there. Someone else is paying for the merchandise that you walked out with? No, 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 no,
have you These paid seats? for everything yet? No, are you ready to go? No. Okay, are you still working on that? Yeah, we'll save this one for last okay. if you don't mind. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, well, well your friend it. walked out with hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise that didn't pay for anything. So. I mean, we're, that's what we're doing now. Thank you. Thank you. You're paying for what? So, She's paying yes, for that's what, so what I'm doing to figure out what's going on. How are you paying for all that stuff? With a card, what do you mean? You scanned clothing items? I was scanning her. Yeah. Okay. And she went and over there and... She went over there and scanned stuff. Okay? She didn't pay for any of it. She no, she didn't ever sleep. She didn't pay for... She didn't give anything to Target in exchange for hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise. She just walked out with it. Her story is that you're paying for all of the yeah, stuff but that I she know, walked yeah, out she with. Has, she has her own card. I don't know if... Okay. if like, I don't know. So she's supposed to pay for her stuff, and you're supposed to pay for your yeah, stuff. Well, our clothes are together, but gotcha. the baby formula stuff—that's that, someone gave her a quick card to go to the store to get that. So okay. I don't know. I got gotcha. the cops were able to comprehend the shoplifting scam that the suspect and her friend had planned. What I'm looking at is fourteen hundred dollars of stuff was scan scanned, and none of this was scanned. So, which means the total amount of things that were removed from the store is fourteen hundred dollars. Lost all the stuff, so I've got loss prevention. It's gonna figure out how much I'll just see. This was what, after you finished the, the, the transaction. I was going to do the paper. Right. She you told me to go to the computer, so she put the things on Paul. So when she gave me a thing on Paul, we came. I came over there and helped to bag it up. Then I came out here and I said, "Let me go get the you remember the car was running." So I got the car. Following the realization that she would be sent to jail, the suspect attempted to evade the cops. Nonetheless, they were successful in capturing her. So here's the deal. This is how it works. If you continue to conceal your identity from us until we get to the jail, and then we find out who you are when we get to the jail because we scan your fingerprints, and they tell us, yeah, this is so-and-so. We arrest you for... Oh. Stop! Are you kidding me right now? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Not me like that! Not me like that! I don't want to go to jail! I don't want to go to jail! Yeah, because you got warrants! No, I don't! I just don't want to go to jail! Y'all are going to be nasty! Y'all are going to let me go! Now you're going in the car! You got to be kidding me right now! Unbelievable. Stop. I got her, you bro. I got her. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't want to go to jail. That was ridiculous. What are you doing? To wrap it up, the woman was taken into custody and charged with grand theft consisting of at least $750, as well as resisting an officer without resorting to physical force. Even though she attempted to evade the police, she was finally taken into custody. On the other hand, this next individual will be a genuine Karen. It all begins with a customer making a disturbance at Target for compensation of a $1,000 plus dollar grocery bill. Thus, the cops went to the security office to meet with the manager as well as the suspect, where the police discovered that the manager had struck the suspect to protect himself from the suspect's assaults. So what happened? She okay, came in. Okay, secure at uh, 2046. Okay, came up. I tried to verbally de-escalate. Uh -huh. She told me that she wanted to wreck it out, and I told her we couldn't do that. Okay. And then she said, "Excuse me," and I was like, "Man, like I need you to back up or leave. Like, but we can't do that for you." So she started charging at me. I came all the way back into my office, into an enclosed space, uh -huh. and I hit her in the face. Okay. All right, you and I have it all on video. Ma'am, are you okay? At this point, the police attempted to take control of the situation by requesting the suspect's identification. On the other hand, the suspect argued as a genuine Karen. I tried to close you out of my office and you just kept on pushing your way in. That's right. No, sir. I didn't push my way in. Yes, I can. No, I came around the corner quickly. Hey, would you I did not push quit talking? Door. Hey, no. Excuse Let's you? Stop talking when I'm telling you. You stop talking, okay? Do you know who I am? I, I will figure that out when I get your ID. You have cameras here, right? That's all. That's all that matters. You clearly don't know who I am. Ma'am. 
Is your ID in here? Thought. Is your ID in here? No. Okay. Your ID is in here. May I see it? Sure. Why do you need my ID? You're not taking his. To identify him. We know who he is. How? What's his name? We've been here What's many, many times. May You've I, identified can him. I have your ID? If I have to get my ID in this situation, I'll why get his doesn't ID he... too. Don't exactly. worry about it. Exactly. This, this has right, to be right. All right, you're just digging a hole here. No. Let me have We're going to do this the right way. Man. We've been doing ID it the wrong him. way for ID a long... ID. No, he... Thank yeah, you. Is. Thank your you. ID. Thank you. No, we're going to do this properly. If we're going to have this conversation, we will do it properly. Now, the cop had a conversation with the manager about whether or not he wanted to pursue charges and whether or not he wanted to ban the suspect from Target. Um, Ashley was able to tell me as far as the door. Because the door, she said the door shut and she couldn't see you two inside. Yeah, so I tried to literally close her out, but at that point she was like pretty much running, so she barreled her way in and then kept coming into my office. Okay. Yes, and you just hit her and that's it? Hit her like right in the face, like right in the jaw. Um, I thought Ashley, uh, minimum, minimum tonight is banning her from, from premises, I'm guessing. Present charges, something like that. Yeah. Attempted assault at least. I mean, yeah. At this point, the manager will inform the suspect that she will be banned from Target, which will ultimately cause the suspect to get extremely upset. Yeah, ma'am, as of today, you're trespassed from Target. I'm sorry? As of today, you're trespassed from Target. On the basis of you hitting me? Ma'am, let's go. Outside. No, no, that is not going to Either you walk out on your own or in handcuffs. Oh, I will be arrested for this cause. Come on. Come on. No, I'm Come not going to Don't make this uh, nope. more difficult. You're gonna, no, to it's going to be on camera. Where are you holding your lines at? Come on. So it's very, it's very straightforward. Any business can refuse a customer. Mm -hmm. I go to Wendy's and I like my haircut. They don't have to serve me. Does he have to? That's all he, this is. So he, he, has, gets, he gets the right to kick, kick me out after he hits me? He didn't bubble so that? He can't bubble that up in management? He is speaking asked, on behalf of the company at this really, point. Really? Exactly. So he can speak on behalf of the company at that level, but he couldn't do it there? I wasn't out there. I'm sure tensions were a little different than they are at this moment in time. So... <gasps> no, you're going to reconcile that. Following the cop's explanation to the suspect that there was nothing further that could be discussed, they decided to place her under arrest. I'm not disagreeing, he hit a woman today, yeah. Absolutely he did. And it was in his own defense. So what we are going to do is either A, we can walk out peacefully, or B, we can do it in cuffs. Why was he not, no, why was he not being arrested? And because he said he could have called the cops, he realized he had a choice in that and moment. And chased him into his office. So here's the okay, we're done. I need you to turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're on your oh. own. Thank you. I violate my rights as a human being to protect the law. Do you have anything on your person that's gonna poke us, prod us, or cut us? No? Okay. Additionally, when the suspect was in the police car, she attempted to explain to the cops that all she had intended to do was demand that the store repay her $1,000 grocery bill as a kind of reparations. On the other hand, she was slapped and arrested due to the fact that she's a strong black woman. And I asked nicely, and I got refused, and I stood a line that scared them, and they lashed out. So, do you think you could have approached it in a different manner than how we approached it today and probably got the same goal, the same end? Well, how would you, how do you expect for, I'm asking for something at the register to be done. Mm -hmm. The cash register couldn't, the cashier couldn't do it for me. I asked, they asked her to bubble it up to a manager. That's what you do. You take it up the chain of command. Absolutely you do. Yeah. But they, they, this is the problem. My people have been trying to take it up the chain of command and they are getting smacked back down because the laws are not in their favor. For you to take a hard stand, I, I just got hit. To conclude, a charge of threatening behavior and disorderly conduct was brought against the suspect. The fact that she had made an effort to be a strong black woman was ultimately for nothing. On the other hand, this next individual will weep so much that it'll be uncomfortable. 
After committing repeated thefts from a Target store, the assistant chief medical officer of the University of New Mexico Health System, who earns close to $300,000 annually, was arrested. Ma'am, let's go inside. We need to talk to you. You're detained okay. right now for job lifting, okay? Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. I'll take this. I'll take this. Hands out of your pocket. Oh, your hand out of your pocket. Sorry, 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 sorry. Controller? Yep. Do you have any weapons on you, ma'am? No, I do not. Okay. Just take a seat here. Yes. Do you have a, an Thank ID you. on you? Um, I don't. Let's see. No, I do not. Okay. I have it in my car. Okay. At this point, the cop told the suspect that he had been looking for her for a considerable amount of time since she had committed theft from stores on four separate occasions in a row over the course of the preceding two months. Do you have a vehicle parked outside, ma'am? Yes, sir. Is it Nissan Armada? Yes, it is. So you probably know that we're not what we're doing, right? And they've been looking at you for a very long time. So I, I did not know that. Okay, well, I'm telling you now. They've okay. been looking at you, right? Uh, so, and they know, and they've been looking at you and the other targets as well. Okay. So, he's going to give me a total for the whole merchandise. Okay. I'm going gonna, gonna to ask you more questions in a second, okay? okay. When the cops saw that the suspect was experiencing a panic attack, he instructed her to take a few deep breaths and sit up straight. Do you use any type of narcotics, man? No, not no. Okay. Do you have to take any medications? No. Okay. If you sit straight, you're probably going to be able to breathe better. I'm sorry, what? If you sit straight, you're going to be able to breathe better. If I, sorry, say that again? If you sit straight, oh. you'll probably be able to like, lean against the wall if you have to. The cop informed the suspect that she had stolen merchandise worth $940, and he had also informed her that she would be taken to jail. Okay, ma'am, at this point, you're going to be under arrest for job lifting, okay? Okay. With the, within the last 90 days, you've been <laughs> catching camera, job lifting around $940, which is in New Mexico, is a felony, okay? So... Um, you also is going to be criminal trespass from the property, I'll give you your copy in a second. Okay, so do me a favor, stand up for me please. Face away, face away from me, put your hands behind your back. You, you can fix your pants. Okay, put your hands behind your back and put it, your hands together like you pray. Put your hands together like you I already asked you this, you said you don't have any weapons, but I'm going to ask you again, do you have any weapons? No, I don't. Do you have any needles on you? No, I don't. What's going to happen? Well, you're going to jail right now. Oh, God. Okay? You're going to jail. While the suspect was seated in the police vehicle, the cop advised her that her arrest served as a wake-up call to refrain from stealing. Oh, I'm so sorry. It happens, ma'am. No, it doesn't. It's just bad. It's so bad. It happens more often than anything. Yeah, but... Yeah. Well, I'll be honest with you, Melissa. Yes. We're in 2023, Melissa. Yes. You know where's the only place that they don't have cameras? I don't know. In the bathroom. Uh -huh. There are cameras all over. Uh -huh. We have cameras. Yes. They have cameras all over the, yeah. the store. The only reason why you haven't been detained or under arrest before is because when they have called us before, we've been busy. Yeah. But they've been looking for you. Oh, I did not know. Yeah. But you have $940 already in merchandise, Melissa. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't even afford that right now. There's a lot of money. Okay? So I get that you feel bad now, but there's a, there's a little wake-up call for you to stop yes. doing that, okay? Yes, I agree. Okay? I'm not giving you, like, a, oh, my God, this cop is, you know, giving me a little... Um, how they call it like a speech no i'm just i've been doing this for a long time okay i understand and and i can see just right off the bat that i don't see that you're an addict so no, I'm not. I don't but, but, we'll, but we'll we'll talk in a second okay okay 
To summarize everything, after being taken into custody, the suspect was charged with shoplifting for more than $500, but less than $2,500. Also, she has been placed on administrative leave. Now, although she was crying and experiencing panic attacks, this next individual will maintain her composure and show no concern at all. First things first, an allegation of stealing at the Target store prompts the police to show up. As soon as the police got on the scene, they spoke with someone from Asset Protection, who informed them that a lady in a denim jacket had only paid for a part of her purchases with cash at the self-checkout, leaving the store with a shopping cart. What's going on, man? She's in total wine now. She's in total wine? Yeah, with all my merchandise. Pushing the cart? Yeah. Okay. What did you say? I believe that subject entered the total wine, pushing the cart full of merchandise. I'm just confirming with loss prevention. Yeah, it should be total wine. I saw it on the camera. I saw her go into the store. I'm pretty okay. sure that's total wine. Did we lose eyes on her since she went inside? No, I've been standing here watching. I haven't seen her come back out. She's in this store or whatever the next one is. I'm pretty sure it's total wine. TJ Maxx? I don't think she's in TJ Maxx. She okay. Could be, uh, all right. The guy um, on the camera said it's the, the store with the black cards out front, so it's either yeah, TJ Maxx or I think it looks like it's the closer one. one. At TJ Maxx, the police were able to find the suspect. Immediately after their first encounter with the woman, the cops took the suspect out of the store and immediately started inventorying the stolen products as they were outside. I'm Officer Scout with the Eatontown Police. We just gotta ask you to come outside with us, okay? Oh. Whatever is TJ Maxx that you didn't purchase yet, just do me a favor, just put it on that shelf right behind you, please. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Just step outside, thank you. All right. Um, let's go right over here, between the police car. And what's your name? Margeris. I'm sorry? Margeris. Well, okay. Um, these items you purchased at Target? Do you have a receipt for them? The Huggies, right? Receipt for the for the pump? Sí, okay. I'm sorry? Ese lo pagué aparte. As a result of the CCTV video and the witness statements provided by an officer from Target's asset protection, the suspect was taken into custody for stealing. All right, ma'am. Put your phone down for me, please. Mm -hmm. Your phone? Phone. Okay. So you are under arrest, okay? For shoplifting? Rabondo. Okay? Rabondo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll cuff in front. So we're just gonna. No sé por qué no se pagó. You you stole. Yeah. Okay. You okay. No sense. Anything on you? Pockets? Yeah. Put them out. One sixteen headquarters, one female, forty one. Uh, pocket. Yeah, no. Nothing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stay. She does that sometimes. Yeah. In order to continue the investigation, the cop took the suspect to the Eaton Town Police Department for additional processing. Also, the police came to the conclusion that the suspect was not a citizen. Uh, jacket? Yep. And the earring and necklace yeah. off. Yep. Is she a citizen? Um, probably. Are you a citizen? Do you have a citizenship here? No. No. I don't think so. Nicaragua then? Yeah. To put it all together, on November 14, 2024, Mary Eris Ernestina Velasquez Hoya was given a summons to appear in court for shoplifting. 
Furthermore, according to the records, the suspect had been arrested for stealing at the same Target store around two weeks before the current incident. Although she's stealing like it's nothing, this next individual will surprise you more than anybody else. It all begins with the cops, who are notified about the presence of a suspicious individual at a Walmart shop in Dunwoody, Georgia. According to reports, the suspect was opening shipments, removing labels, and covertly concealing decorative jewelry in his pockets. Thus, the cops rushed to the location because they were concerned about the possibility of a theft. Sir! Hey, what's going on? What? What's up? What's up, man? What's going on? Not much. How you doing tonight? I'm good. You good? Yeah. All right. So, the reason we're out here is that, you know, they've been watching on the cameras for a little bit. Yeah. They saw you cutting stuff up. No. And they pretty much just wanted to leave, man. Uh, All right. So, just hang tight for me real quick. All right. You got any, you got an ID no, on you? I'm going to leave. Just hang tight for me, man. All right. You got, uh, you got any ID on you? No. I didn't cut anything up. You got no ID? No. Nothing like that? No. Okay. Once again, you got nothing. No. No wallet? No. How are we going to pay for this, man? So, so we got called here, obviously, man, because obviously just three of us don't decide to come to Walmart. Um, somebody said you was making noises. You was in the bathroom. You was opening up packages. Um, I didn't open any packages. You got that necklace on from inside the store. You threw one in the trash can. No. No? No. In spite of the fact that there was abundant video evidence against him, the suspect strongly denied any misconduct when approached by law enforcement. On the other hand, the cops did not waver in their commitment to uphold the law and safeguard the properties of the store. As a result, they arrested him. I don't have anything. This necklace is from the tattoo shop. Okay. So like I said, all that is just made up? I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. All right, man. So based off everything we've been seeing, we were told, Walmart's been watching you on the cameras for a little bit, all right? So... Because everything you done, man, you're going to be placed on arrest for disorderly conduct. All right, put your hands behind your back. Hold on, hold on. Stop. What am I being placed for the arrest for? Like disorderly conduct. You're in? I'm not doing this. Put your hand behind your back. Stop. How am I being arrested for disorderly conduct? I'm cutting up packages. I didn't cut up any packages. Relax your hands, man. <clears throat> you got it? Don't hold your hands. Relax. I didn't. Hold on, hold on. How am I being arrested for disorderly conduct? The investigation and search of the suspect were carried out by the police at this point. Additionally, the suspect developed a strong hatred toward the cops. You got anything in your person that I need to know about? Any finger, uh, fingernail clippers, knives, guns, anything like that? No. All right. Mm -hmm. You got no idea on you, man? No. Do you need that? No. Okay. Yes, I do need that. I okay. do need that. Okay. Right. It's right here. That's not y'all, right? Yeah. And you asked me to leave the store. So if you asked me to leave the store. No, I said Walmart. No, you asked gave me us to leave the store. That's what you said. Stop, Stop man. Stop. Said, I said Walmart. You said one, I want to ask you to no, leave no, no, the no. store. No, 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 no. I said Walmart wanted you to leave. Okay. But with the way you've been acting, I did, you I cut did me work. off there. All right? No, we're not having this discussion. The suspect told the cops that the necklace was his and that he did not steal it. Furthermore, the suspect became enraged with one of the cops and insulted him. These are off the floor. Six, six, right. I'm talking about the necklace that was on my neck. Okay. You can have that back. You can have that back. But these Not are hard. Uh, can you put... Nope. I wasn't talking to you, first of all. I don't care. I'm talking to you. Uh, right, stop. Right, right. I wasn't talking to you, first of all. You got answer, I was please. talking to him. I didn't get an answer. You can't answer me. I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to you. You won't find out the answer. So what happened with the protein shake? I drunk. You have to pay for things before you consume them, sir. You can't just, you know, consume them and throw them away. Despite his denials that he had stolen from the store, the cops made the decision to take the suspect to jail. I didn't steal anything and I didn't shoplift. So what are you getting a total of? Right. Uh, come on, brother. Stop calling me brother. I'm yes, sir. Yes, brother. sir. Gotcha. Not so bloody. Gotcha. All right. 
to bring it all to a close, the suspect was charged with disorderly conduct due to the fact that his activities broke the law and caused a disturbance in the tranquil atmosphere of the shopping environment.